Live? We are live. So good <laughs> evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from our studio in South Florida, bringing you another spotlight session where we show off games just coming out into the biz. But first off, let's get some introductions out of the way. As usual, I'm your host, Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. And we are joined today with Tucker from Card Lords. How are you doing today, Tucker? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Uh, so tonight we have the pleasure of showing off the Pirate's Flag, uh, and we would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by the Pirate's Flag, as well as Helios Expanse from Greenbrier Games. Uh, so, Ann, I'm going to let it let you take over here. You're going to pass me the ball? Do it. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Tucker, this is not your first uh, excursion into game design. Talk to us a little bit about... Um, where you started with gaming and how you got to the Pirate's Flag. Absolutely. So we started out with Battle Goats was our first tabletop game. Um, it was a combination of war and memory. Just a small box game, but with a ton of replayable value. Yeah, that's actually right there is Pirate Goat, one of the characters in Battle Goats. And she actually got a promotion. Uh, there's a little backstory coming sometime soon where you'll get to read about how she became a captain in the Pirate's Flag. Mm -hmm. Uh, but right after Battle Goats, we, we did another small box game called Take the Gold. And I believe Anne's playing as Captain Cat from yes. Take the Gold tonight. It's so he also cute. got a promotion. A little bit battle-worn after his, uh, his many battles with the Kraken. But he's super cute as always. Uh, now, like Pirate the Flag is our first medium box, is what we're calling it. A uh, full-size game uh, with a real board, some minis, some awesome-looking pirate ships, and a full-on Capture the Flag game. We were talking a little bit before, and there was a common theme that you were sharing with me about the kinds of games that you are designing. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about that, how you're taking a lot of these old-school games and kind of giving them a bit of a facelift and making them more accessible for everybody? Yeah, absolutely. So we designed everything to be casual-friendly, where it's people who come into the hobby uh, coming from games like Sorry, Trouble, Monopoly, Life, things like that. And we're trying to bridge that gap to what we call, you know, gamer games. And it's taking cards, and we specialize in card play, hence the name, might, might have given it away. But <laughs> we try to take it to where you've got a lot of fun little aspects without going too overcomplicated. Uh, but also playability for somebody who does play a lot of games. I was a WoW TCG player in tournament level for years, and I definitely miss that, but I want to have something where I can play it with my friends as well. I think that's really awesome. Well, I am really excited. Uh, as our viewers know, um, the way that we set up our hosts as far as experience level into these games is we've got a rules monkey. We've got one person who the rules monkeys kind of introduced the game to. And we've got one blonde who's never seen the game before. <laughs> so uh, that, that's new. <laughs> the Is that Josh? Party. The blonde. The blonde party. <laughs> uh, but so we do. You're still a noob. I'm. St I will <laughs> fight you. But we do that uh, intentionally so that we can show off the accessibility for this game. So I'm super excited to kind of put that to the test for you today. Absolutely. You ready to you ready to jump in, Matt? I think so. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this here. So, Anne, I'm going to need your help. If you can give me some magic fairy dust on the board so I can switch over to the board cam. No sound effects? You do a great job, Anne. I really appreciate it. The fairy dust doesn't need sound effects. So this is the board here for the Pirate's Flag, and uh, we are in the Dread Sea right now. We have all of our ships. The camera, Matt. Oh, we're just off camera? We yeah, are. Just off camera. So we are... All the way over here, we've got our little ships. So I'm going to be playing as the purple ship. Anne is playing as the blue ship. Josh, you're playing as the green ship. Uh, everyone watching at home, uh, you already had the opportunity to see the two characters that they're playing as. I'm playing as one of the human characters. I'm playing as Captain Morgana. Uh, with That is a green tentacle, by the way. It is not <laughs> a see-through tentacle. If you put it over the land. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So, Tucker, you were telling us a little bit earlier, uh, this game relies on a capture the flag mechanism here. So, uh, can you give, talk to us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so as you'll see, the board kind of snakes one direction, and then the objective is to be the first player to get the flag from the Dread Captain's ship, and the player that wins is the player who gets back out into the Dread Sea with the flag. It's a true capture the flag game because, as you can tell from the back of the ships, there's a little hole where you're going to pick up the flag when you get it and put it into the back of your ship. <laughs> <laughs> and 
that was a pretty great sound effect. <laughs> so, uh, how are we moving over to the flag, Tucker? Yep, so you're going to roll dice to move. Uh, at the start of the game, each player is going to roll two dice. And once any player picks up the flag, it drops down to one die for the rest of the game for all players. Ooh. The reason we went with two at the start is to just give you kind of a quick shortcut and an acceleration, which is also why you can see there's two arrows pointing down or to the right. Those are waterfalls, and those basically just allow you to shortcut the beginning part of the game to make it a little quicker on that trip to the flag. Oh, you may cool. not always want to go that direction, though, because in the pirate's flag, one of the things we did that was a little bit unique with dice rolls is you can go either direction. You're not always stuck moving which way you go. You can choose which way you want to go. And why you might want to go backwards is every time you pass one of the docks with the yellow lines there, you're going to draw a card. So this is how you reset your hand, up your hand there. And uh, we all have a max of five cards in our hand, except for the lucky player who won wins the mad dash over to the pirate's flag. Okay. What is that hand limit? So if you are the first person to get the flag, for the rest of the game, you will have six cards in your hand. Okay, so don't let you get the flag. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so on top of these docks here that allow you to draw up your cards, if you don't like some of the cards you have or you want to maybe just increase your hand a little bit more, uh, there are these two ports over here. And these will allow you to uh, essentially discard one of your cards and then draw two cards. Right, Tucker? Correct. Yep, those are the trading posts. Is that a resort hotel? <laughs> Anne's just going to hang out there. That's it. Game. That's it. Done. You yeah, guys. Need no flag. No. Is it all inclusive? That's, I don't. That's, yeah, the, that's the question. Okay, so we've been talking about these cards a little bit. Let's actually show some off. Uh, so we've got this is an example here. This way, that way. <laughs> the two of us, man. So you and another player both roll. The higher moves three spaces, and the lower roll moves one space and does not count as your turn roll. Uh, so, Tucker, when can we play these cards? That's another thing we like to make unique with our games. So, in the Pirate's Flag, you can play cards on any player's turn. You're not stuck waiting for someone else's turn. Ooh. Uh, that, uh, that pirate there looks um, awfully familiar. Yeah, you know, I might have had some inspiration on that one. <laughs> Uh, so there are a couple of different symbols here. So we've got, you see the regular standard pirate uh, ship's wheel there, uh, but we've got red ship's wheels okay. as well. And these are all followed with the subtext of uh, what, Tucker? The you may play another card this turn. And the idea between uh, behind those ones is if you play that one, whether it's the first card you play or the last one you play, you can play another card that turn. Otherwise, you're restricted to one card per any player's turn, whether it's your turn or someone else's. Only one card per turn, with the exception of those ones that say you may play another card this turn. And then we've also got the blue ship's wheel as well. So what does the blue ship's wheel denote, Tucker? On those ones, you'll see also they, uh, in addition to having the, the blue wheel or the red wheel, they have a different icon on the bottom right of the card. So in case you can't quite see the colors real well, they do have different icons there also. But it also says on it does not count, or I'm sorry, on the, the blue one, it's uh, you can play it only on your turn. So any of the ones that say on your turn, you can only play them on your turn. Okay, and so these cards are going to do various things, such as modify your dice rolls, uh, force other people to do different things, and modify other people's rolls. Sometimes it'll just specify the next roll, and you might want to uh, jump in and play some cards that affect that. And you'll see that as the game plays out. Uh, so, for example, there's this one here, which is add one to the next roll or subtract one from the next roll. So if you play it before your roll, you're going to want to... Well, I guess it depends on where you are with strategy, but right. you may want to interact exactly. your own roll with it. The so card that you just showed a minute ago, this way, that way, is a good one that gives you the ability to play that card to kind of manipulate the roll if you want to have that plus or minus. So one thing to make note of is these cards, when you play them, uh, since you can play them at any turn, you might have multiple people playing cards, and they operate on the, uh, the Philo system, so first in, last out. So the most recent card that is played is going to be the most the the, the first card to get uh, resolved. It upsets me that you said that because it's not an accounting inventory method. But we'll continue. <laughs> 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 Can be used for other things. No, uh, okay. Um, uh, but 
It's a developer term too. Anne's a, Anne's a little salty right a now. Salty. It's a good thing that we are in the ocean here. <laughs> it's made of and it is important to note, since she hasn't seen the cards yet, every card in the game is unique. Ooh, okay, so there's no repeats. Correct. Okay. So, uh, speaking about unique, since we've all got our captains, each one of our captains has a unique one-time-per-game ability. Yeah. And so once you use it, you flip your card over, and this can be used at any time unless otherwise noted. But so mine is once per game I may choose a player, and then you decide the direction that they move on their next roll. Like forward or backward? Yep. He gets to choose the movement, so he can send you whichever way he wants. Of course you chose that. That's <laughs> so you. Uh, so you got Captain Cat, so that's once per game. You may move the same number of spaces as another pl that another player just moved. Copycat. Copycat. Oh, I get it. <laughs> 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 and then we've got Captain Goat here. So once per game, grant one player plus three to their next roll and give another player minus three to their next roll. Ooh. So then finally, we've got a few of these spaces on the board here that you see minus one or plus one. So what does that mean, Tucker? Well, that's a Kraken. <laughs> it is a Kraken. So the hazards are either minus ones or plus ones, and it's only if you land on that space. So if you would land on a minus one, you go back the direction you came. If you land on a plus one, you go forward the direction you're going. Okay. Uh, that's also Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it's Sharknado, but... But it... No? No. Oh. That's his own game. That's and so, game. finally, what kind of pirate game would be complete without some sort of uh, sea battles here? So, Tucker, can you tell us about the, uh, the fighting mechanism here? Yeah, so the way battles work is you can choose to stop your movement on a player's ship. So just like the trading post, the trading posts also allow you to stop movement if you're in the middle of a roll. But uh, when you are moving onto a player's sh uh, space that has the flag in their ship, you can choose to stop your movement. If you stop, it, you can initiate a battle. And battles are one versus one die roll, high roll wins. So you can use cards in battle just as you can use them during movement. So you might want to use that plus one to move, but you can also use that plus one to increase your chances of winning a battle. So I don't actually so have don't to act physically harm Matt and steal the flag from him. I would probably advise against that. Okay, well. So the one thing to note here is that you can only attack the player that has the flag on their ship. So as we're racing to the flag, we can't be jerks and shooting. <laughs> <laughs> there goes all my fun. <laughs> um, is there anything that I'm missing there, Tucker, before we start getting into the gameplay? Uh, the biggest thing is the timing of the cards. You can use them before battle, after battle. Uh, we always say when you end your turn, pass the dice to the next player, just so it makes it a clear one, one, one player's turn ends and another one begins. So finally, i got to ask, who goes first? In our base rules, it's just two dice, high roll wins. We've got some, some creative ideas to come up with in case we want to do something a little more fun. But. Uh, so highest I, roll? Highest roll. Okay. So I let, let's see what I get here. I rolled a three. It's probably not the highest roll. So that's lower than the average of 1d6. You would know that because you're a nerd. nerd. I got a five. And rolled a five. And Josh rolled six. a six. So Josh is going to go first. We uh, start off I with any cards. We'll go second, and then Anne goes last. Nope, no cards in hand to start the game. Okay. So to start off the game, I roll. So, I'm sorry, one more thing to note. If yes. you would draw a card and you are at your max, you just do not draw a card. Okay. So you okay, don't, it's not you discard. You don't draw discard. You just okay. don't draw. Okay. Matt, you want to like kind of zoom in on our ship so we kind of sure. follow the ship's ship action? The ship, the ship action. action? Ship action. I'm sorry, what's the name of that crab from The Little Mermaid? <laughs> uh, Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian? <laughs> I can't say it properly, so they like to make fun of me. This oh. is so good. They're we all can mean. make so many Little Mermaid references. Uh, I rolled an 11. Why? So I get to move 11, right? You have to move a little. And so you can choose which way you want to go, whether you want to go down the waterfall, go up around it, and then as you come down a waterfall, you can choose if you want to go which direction you want to go as well. So this direction will get you more cards. So where would you like to go, Josh? Oh, he's got analysis and paralysis Alice's already. Paralysis. I'm, I'm paralysis. seeing where it would land. <laughs> yeah, that's what analysis paralysis is, Joshua. I'll go, I'll go down the waterfall. 
Okay, so you went one, two, three, four, yeah. five. And which way are you going? This way or that way? Uh, I'm going. I'm going the right way. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you're gonna draw one card from the deck. So go ahead and. No, I want to go down the other waterfall. <sighs> so ten, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. So you get one card. You get one card. That's fine. Okay. I got my. I got one, one card. Now you need um, to pass like the dice. No, either. make him do it with his little scene of tiny T Rex arms. Oh yeah, so I didn't. I didn't even show off where you went because you you went <laughs> all the way down the board. So you're all the way down here. So just to recap, he went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's really That's far really away. quick. Yeah, it is. Yep. That's hurricane. what the waterfalls are there for. Okay. I rolled a four. I'm not going to go that far. Uh, do you get to roll again since you got doubles? I, I don't nope. think so. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So I can't even go down the waterfall. At least you didn't land on the sharks. Uh, you rolled an eight. Doubles again. You going down the waterfall? Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm going down the waterfall. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back there. That's fine. And so you're going to draw one card. Okay. And remember, cards can be played at any time. So if you got something that'll mess Josh up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, you're going to pass me the dice? You did a very good job passing Thank there. You. Uh, so uh, Josh, roll seven. a seven. So which way would you like to go, Josh? Um, I'm going to the flag. I, you, you're going to have to reach it there. This is amazing. It's <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> much fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You didn't get the flag yet, so that's uh, good. But I get another card. This game is quickly going to be called Destroy Josh's Ship. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go cloak mode on the way back. <laughs> Your green screen? Green it's screen. water. Look at I'm the stealth ship here. I rolled a four. My goodness, my rolls are <laughs> atrocious. Um, That's all right. One, two, three, four. Hey, Anne, how's it going? Hi. Give me my card. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, Ann, your turn. Big bucks, no whammies. Six. Six. So, which way would you like to One, go? So you can two, go backwards, too. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that would put me over one. Yep. And you would get a card from that as well. Josh has got to come back. Okay, so strategically, let's let's think this out a little bit. If Josh gets the flag, yeah. the Why point... Are you the point for us is not to make it all the way over here. It's to make it to him. Right. Remember, though, if you could stop him from getting that flag first, you prevent him from up. He's two spaces away! <laughs> <laughs> I, that, that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, and he can't go up a waterfall. No, I can't go up a waterfall. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I get another card. Okay. I am going to activate my ability now on Captain Morgana. So, Josh, you're going to go the wrong way. So okay. I That's have decided really that really early. It is, but at the same time, I don't want him to get that extra card. I've, I've just got a feeling about this. Oh, do you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm testing it out here, okay? You played the game once or twice with him? I just know Josh. There we go. So go ahead and roll, Josh. Roll. I'm thinking if I want to activate my ability or not. To give yourself minus three out of your roll? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then I won't go back that far. <laughs> but then you have to give plus three to someone else on their next that's roll. The, that's the thing. Uh, I'm going to do walk the plank and give myself minus one. So on walk the roll. plank is going to be add one to the next roll or minus one from the next roll. So you're going to minus one from that roll. And this goes in the communal discard pile. And are you playing something? She's no. thinking about it. She's not, though. So you rolled an eight, eight. so you're going to move seven spaces backwards. All okay. right. I'm going to grab another card. And it's my turn. Um, hmm. So on the on your turn cards there, Tucker, I could play those after I roll? You can. Okay. Unless it specifically says on your next roll or something like that. RTFC, gotcha. Matt. Just want to make sure. <laughs> so I rolled a 10. Woo. Ooh. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 
uh, is a separate space, or is that one space? Which space were you on? That one. Oh, that one. F so that's four. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go there. Then I'm going to play this card Get here, card. climb the ropes. So if I don't have the flag, I'm going to move two spaces. So I'm going to get the flag. Okay, you're a terrible person. And I need another card there, Josh. <laughs> Look at that flag in the back of my ship. It's so pretty. So he can hold six cards now. What does this icon mean again? You could trade one card for two cards. Okay, so this goes in the discard pile there, and that's the end of my turn, so go ahead there, folks. Must I land on this space in order to activate you, it? You can stop there. The trading post, you can stop. Okay. Hmm. So but if you do stop there, now? it does end your turn. That's right. And now that somebody picked up, yep, you're down to one die. Hold on one. It's good. You got a trading post. Uh, okay. You're at your resort. Hmm. Now, you can discard one card and draw two cards to replace it. But you can't do it multiple times. So it's up to you. No, I think I actually like the cards that I have. OK. OK, your turn. Let's see what he gets here. Roll a three. three. Um, I'll move three spaces closer to you. Okay, so you're going to go one, two, three. You're going to get a card. Okay. Um, I'm going to play an uneven exchange on Josh. So, Josh, you draw three cards. You pick one to keep, and you give me the other two. I'm, I'm gambling with this one. <clears throat> hmm. So, uh, Tucker, one of my cards here, uh, it doesn't specify a player to play it on. So does that mean it just default affects me? Uh, it means you can choose. Okay. For reference, it's all hands on deck. I don't know if that helps you out there with that. Yeah, so that one would be... It, the wording is very, very verbatim, so... Okay. Hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> so it is now my turn. Yep. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll my 1d10. Or what? d6. Roll a 2. It's going to 1, 2. And I'm going to get a card. Let's see what we get here. Um, that's going to be the end of my turn. Roll to three. Yes, come closer, Anne. I'm going to go back. Oh. One, two, three. And I will get the card, and I will put it in my hand the right way. <laughs> okay. These are... Okay. So, if I land where Matt is, we fight, right? You can choose to stop your roll where he's at. So, and if you get to the end of the board on either end, you can continue your movement the other direction. Okay. So I'm going to do full speed ahead. So what's full speed ahead? Instead of rolling, move four spaces. <coughs> there you go, Matt. Uh, can I play Shiver Me Timbers right now? You can. If another player is on the same space as you, move two spaces. Go one, two. Bye, Josh. And that takes place before the battle, so you got out of the battle. Okay, and I can't play another card unless it's a red one. Correct. But I could play this at the beginning of Matt's turn. Right. Okay. So, Matt, it's your turn. Okay. I'm playing uh, Wind Gust. So what is Wind Gust? Wind Gust is the player holding the flag drops it, move the flag three spaces away from the Dread Sea. Ooh. Ooh. Bam. Ooh. That's a cool. Could I have card. technically done that after he chose which way he was moving? You could have, yes. Ah, uh, so he could have moved away from it. I, I should have done it. I wasn't. You could have waited until Anne's turn to play it too. I'm gonna have some fun here. I'm gonna play all hands on deck, so it moves me three spaces towards the flag. Give me that flag. Now that does not count as my roll, so I'm gonna roll now. Okay. I rolled a two. 
And I don't know if I hit Anne's build or not. You did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, go Which way are you moving? Uh, I'm going to move towards the, d the Dread Sea. You get two cards if you go the other way. I do, but I'm not going to. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. So you can move an extra space until you land on the bubbles. Yeah. Bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. Okay. And Anne, it's your turn. Okay. I am going to play Smooth Sailing. Smooth sailing. Is Add three to your next roll result. Ooh. Okay, and then, then I'm. That on you? Yeah, it's on your next roll. And I'm also going you to. You can only play two cards if one of them is a red wheel. Oh. Okay, fine. There went that story. Okay. So you roll. Ooh, five. So, so move eight. seven spaces closer. Eight. Or eight spaces closer. I thought it was plus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Going for the cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That moves me a little more closer to you. Okay. And Josh, it's your turn. Two. Two. Ah, ah, ah. All right. So I'm gonna go here. You playing a card, Matt? Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna play a good pirate, bad pirate. Good pirate, bad pirate. Uh, that's a see-through bird right there. It is. Uh, <laughs> add two to the next roll, or subtract two from the next roll. So what are you doing there, Josh? I'm going to add two to mine. Um, I'm going to go choose Kelpnet right now. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. So choose a player, subtract two from their next roll. So, Josh, you're going to lose two. Okay. So uh, at zero at high zero speed high internet. internet, yeah. Okay. You beat a two, Matt? I yeah, rolled a six. six. Yeah, that's my flag. So because I won that one, I don't get to move. But if Josh would have beaten me and taken my flag, he would have had an extra move action, correct? Correct. He would have got a chance to roll again to escape. You do not escape the clutches boat. of purple boat. Purple boat. Purple boat. The SS purple boat. The SS purple purple. Is is your boat called the Queen Anne's Revenge? Yes, it is. Uh, I rolled a five, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna get Hi, draw a card. Hi, Maddie. Hey, how's it going, Anne? Um. Hmm. I'm going to play this way, that way. What is that? So you and another player both roll. Higher roll moves three spaces. Lower mo roll moves one space. Who are you doing it with? Matt. Why Matt? Because if I get the lower are roll... Are you playing this at the end of my turn or at the beginning of your turn? Okay. What I want to have happen is I want to <laughs> move one space... Oh, you're going to move anyway. Dang it. Never mind. Give me the card so back. If you do it with me, yeah. I can move something. Space. And even if you move one or three, you can stop it at space. That's okay. Out. I'm going to play with Josh. Okay. But I can do it right now. You could do it on the end of my turn or the beginning of your turn. If you do it at the end of your, his turn, you'll have another card you can play on your turn. Say that again? If you do it during his turn, you'll have a card to be able to play during your own yeah. turn. Yeah. No. Okay. So I'm doing your turn. I just make sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you and another player both roll. Higher roll is... And. And. So you get to move three spaces. Josh moves one space. Okay. Three. One, two, three. That's interesting. All right, Anne, it's your turn. Did you finish your turn? Matt, yes. Matt yes, that was the, turn. yeah, my turn's over. So, Anne, it's your turn now. Okay. Pass the die. That's I'm going to play this one. Uh, so this is, it's a gamble. On your turn, roll a die. If it's even, move four spaces towards the flag. And if it's odd, move one space away from the flag. That's an odd. You're going to move one space away from Drat. it. Okay, and then I'm going to play that one. And then you're playing Yoink. So take a random card from another player. You may play another card this turn. So you've already played your other card. And you can play multiple red cards in a turn if you have them. So you have your uh, movement now. How many cards do you have, Anne? Three. Okay. So you move. You roll a one. Uh, what if you roll a zero due to the other dice? That's a good question. Does a zero count as even or odd or null? It's null on that. Okay. <laughs> um, cool. All so, right, yep, it's Josh's turn. Go ahead and roll, Josh. I can do it. What are you doing? Pressing my luck. Press your luck. So on your turn, at the start of your turn, roll a die. Less than three, skip your turn. It's, it's a four. 
So move that many spaces, then roll again. Bam! I think attacking you first. Four gets you where you... Where, oh, okay. Okay. In a battle. He needs now, die. if he battles here, Dies? he yeah. doesn't get to roll, though, correct? If he battles, it takes place of his regular turn roll, because basically he's stopping the battle. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just letting you know. That's fine. Okay. But if he wins the battle, he gets to roll again to escape. Okay, so Josh, um, go ahead and roll. It's a one. I roll a three. I win. How do you play? I win. So right now, I am going to go ahead and play medium magnet. So I'm going to pull and ship two spaces closer to my ship. Okay. Okay, thanks. And then I'm going to go ahead and roll. Oh, I rolled a one. <laughs> I needed to roll anything but a one, and that would have been fine. So we get to battle now, right? No, I'm not battling you. It's your turn, though. You get battle now. Du -du 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 -du. Okay, so if I roll... No, this doesn't matter. Well... What? <laughs> Dear Josh, please stop doing your best <laughs> excellent impression. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I battle you because you're on my space right now... You, you, don't, do, you don't have a movement roll. All right, well, let's poop your But you can still escape at the end if you win, right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Dang it, get a one. Three! <sighs> Josh, just and rolled threes. a two, and I rolled a three. So uh, it's the end of your turn then. Yeah. Josh, here you go. I'm playing this card. Uh, uh, do you feel lucky on your next roll, add four if you roll a one through three, subtract two if you roll a four through six? On my next turn. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. It's on your next roll, not your next turn. Oh. So. That's interesting. So if Josh has a card that makes you roll something, then, you know. All right, so four. Yeah. yeah. So move one. You don't have to stop and battle me. I'm stopping and battling you. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go over here. Th we're, I'm getting... Sandwiched right now. Um, and you got a knot in the ropes. Not in the ropes. Choose a player, subtract one from their next roll. Okay? So go ahead and roll there, Josh. Let's Ooh. see what you get. Um, I still have three movement after this, or I have to try to escape and I get whatever that roll is, Tucker? <gasps> right, it would be another roll. So you stopped your movement, so that ends the movement of that roll. Okay. Oh, I'm so ditzy. Seriously? <laughs> I rolled a five. So a five minus one is a four, and you rolled a one, which is a one. Wait, I want to take this card back. You already played it. No. <sighs> okay. So that is going How to be How many ones has that been met? That's a lot. So that's the end of Josh's turn. It's now my turn. Yeah, Nar Narbar, they are garbage dice. Four. So I escaped. One, two, three, four. I get a card. I get a card. I get a card. Hey, 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 hey. And Anne. There you go, my friend. I can still play a card because I play this on somebody else's turn? Correct. Yep. Okay, it just so doesn't get resolved until you roll. So I'm going to play that one. So you're playing Hitch a Ride. So if the player holding the flag is closer to the Dread Sea than you, move three spaces. So which direction are you moving in? Towards you. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So now I roll for my movement. Correct. I rolled a one. And you're adding four to that. So it's a five. Correct. But I don't really care. Because okay. that's as far as I wanted to go. Are you attacking me? Yes, I'm attacking you. Okay. Oh, darn. That's, that's a six. That's a six. That's a one. Can I take a picture of this? I just really want to enjoy <laughs> this moment. moment that that's a six. Like and here's this. Matt's little baby. So one. you take the flag, yeah. and now you have an opportunity to flee. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll. All right, hold on. I can't play another card unless it's a red, right? Correct, yep. Amundo. That's poopy. Okay. Okay, so you're rolling, rolling, rolling. You rolled a six. Ooh. Yeah, deuces. I'm going to go oh. ahead and play Huge Magnet right now. So pull a ship three spaces closer. Two, three. Your butt. To, you're going to play so it on Josh, right? Question here, though. Wait, you're going to play it on, on Josh? Question here. She would get her full movement. Did she, she does the full movement first and then comes back. Correct. So, so I get you the get card. two cards. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. That's so good. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. So oh, I just don't draw one because I have a hand of five. One, two, wait. One, two, th no, I just can't count. Yep, that, that's... Uh, the counting can't count. That's the accountant. <laughs> that works. Okay, so, Josh, it is your turn. 
Go catch her, buddy. I have faith in you. All right, I'm going to activate my ability. What's your ability? Um, no, I'm not going to activate that. Why not? Because I, I was going to give the minus three to Anne, but then you're just going to attack her. and. That That's true. That's assuming, though, so that... Yeah. That's, that's a, a five. five. Nice roll. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get a card. Mm -hmm. Anything that helps out here? Okay. Um, mm, uh, actually, yes. Are you going to play it? That's the other question. Yes. Okay. I have, I, you have to show me what it is. Uh, <laughs> traitor. Uh, so, traitor... So on so your that turn, one no. is instead of rolling. Oh, instead, instead of rolling. rolling. Yeah, that's did already. Right wrong. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I didn't read it, so I don't know what it does. I just know it's Oh, traitor. I did. <laughs> I definitely read it. So I rolled a five. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're not going for the flag. Nope. He needs cards. Yep. Okay. And it's your turn. Is it? Yep. Do you want to do something? Flag, no. Okay. I want to do that card. Okay, so Anne is doing the C's Blessing, so guess a number and roll a die. If you're right, uh, move two ships three spaces. If you're wrong, move one ship two spaces. Okay, I'm going to guess a th three. Okay. It's so a, a five. Nope. So if you're wrong, move one ship two spaces. Whatever shall you do? I'm going to one, two. No, that's Talk it be out. Harder. Talk it out. One, two. One, okay. One, two. Why don't you move yourself? You get a card and then you roll and still have your move. One, two. One, two. You, can you no? Because he can't he battle can't me, battle right? Me. Okay. Yeah. It's on his turn. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now you still have your turn. Okay. Roll your die. Oh, Do like you have any red ones. cards? Um, I'm trying to. Okay. Because if you don't, then right. you can't play them. <laughs> I wonder. What do you think she's gonna roll? You think she's gonna make like a dramatic escape right here, or? Uh, I hope she rolls like a one. You know she's gonna roll a six now, right? Probably. Yeah. That's if she ever rolls. Yeah, it is. It is if she ever rolls. That, that's a big if, unfortunately. And the cards don't have that much text on them. <laughs> they're, they're not books. <laughs> Guys. That's a one. one. Good Thanks. call, Josh. So you go back over the line and get another card. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> but you can if you wanted to. No. Okay. No, I couldn't get another card because you just don't draw. It's not exactly. drawn. It's not discard. Right, you should just play another card. I think so that's a terrible idea. <laughs> so it's going to be Josh's turn now. Yes. Right? Okay. I rolled a six. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. Okay. And you get a card. You get a card. Sweet. And here's the question. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to play? No. No? Yeah, we're, attack we're battling. Okay, hold on. To answer the question in chat, uh, you only get the six cards for the first player who takes the flag out of the Dread Captain's ship. So Matt gets six cards. I'm playing Heavy Breeze. Heavy Breeze. Uh, that is add two to your next roll. Okay. Okay. Um, Hold on. Is Josh playing something? Is he going to activate his player ability right now? That's what I'm thinking about. So his player ability is to give one person... that I'm what? not. Not? Okay. I rolled a six. And rolled a six. So There's got to be a clear winner. Flag. So you got to keep rolling. Well, do we, no, but she has plus two to her result. And if she got the plus two, yep, she wins it from that. Yep. Yep. So. Is there anything else on your turn there, Josh? Um, that's it. Okay. So I'm going to go now. I rolled a six. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to... Let's, let's let's battle it out here. Duel? It's time to duel. Okay. Okay. I rolled a five. You rolled a two. Okay, hold on. Hmm. 
Uh, so do over. A player who just rolled the dice must re-roll. Uh, the first roll doesn't count. Roll modifiers still count. Okay, so I'm just re-rolling my die. Mm -hmm. I rolled a five again. Bless <laughs> it. <sighs> Quick fingers. Uh, after any roll, flip a die to the opposite side. That's a two. Mm -hmm. So that would be a re-roll now for the two of us. Mm -hmm. That's probably your better chance the first time. Oh, no! And rolled a three, I rolled a one. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Lovely. Are you two done? Uh, I am indeed done, okay. unfortunately. Roll low. Two. How many spaces did you move? How many spaces did you move? I don't. Uh, move one space. If I use my special ability, move the same number of spaces another player just moved, is that very literal in that he only moved one space out of his roll? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so since he stopped his movement, you only get one. All right. Uh, that's one. So, and you're going to go all the way up here. It's really far. It's really bad. Yeah, it's really bad. It's really bad. Okay, so okay. Uh, it's going to pass now to Josh. So there you go, buddy. Are you using your special ability right now? No. <laughs> I rolled a five. Okay, so you're going to go up here. Are you stopping there? No. I'm going to keep going. Two, three, four, five. And you get to draw a card now. All right. Uh, is, are you doing anything else? Mm, that's it. Okay. My turn. Roll a two. I'm going to go one, two, <laughs> and then negative one, and then oh, I guess I'm going to fight you, Anne. Back up. That's a four. Yep. That's a five. Give me that flag, Anne. Okay, go get the flag. The flag, Anne. You get the flag. I'm going to... I'm going to play helping hand here. Choose two players. They both get plus two to their next roll. I'm going to give myself plus two, and I'm going to give Anne plus two. Okay. No, I'm going to give Josh plus two. <laughs> I'm going to give Josh plus two. Okay. Instead of you, Anne. I heard that. Okay. Yeah. It's not your turn yet. I still have to roll to get away because I stole the flag from you. I rolled four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. That was a mistake. Okay. You get plus two to your next roll, though. Yes, you're right. I do get plus two. So one, two, and then negative one. <laughs> But I got, a, I got a card out of it, so it's okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Can I go down? Uh, yeah. Okay. That is a three. So you're going to move right before the card space. Not quite to the card space, but right before the card space. Here, I can help you out with Wait. that. Wait. Uh, I'm going to play this card. What's that card? So this is Wind in the Sails. If you don't have the flag, move three spaces toward the Dread Sea. So you move first, though, because you rolled already. Okay. So one, two, three. Then you move three spaces towards the sea. Yeah. One, two, three. And then you go back one. And you're on the same space as little old me. And then we can battle? Um, you would think so. But I'm going to play Do What I Tell Ye. Choose any two players. I'm going to choose both myself and Josh, and we're both going to move two spaces in the direction that we choose. So I'm going to move one, two. So I move up here. What are the blue cards? Uh, blue cards have to be played on your turn. Okay. And I can move two spaces, two spaces in any direction you want. Is it still? Right, so I'll move two forward. Is it still my turn? Mm -hmm. uh, technically, it's still your turn. Can you only play a blue card as the only card on the turn? Yes. Okay. Oh, Unless it's a red, a red card. card. What was the other card you played? Not a red card. Not a red card. Okay. Is it my turn? It is your turn, Josh. Let me, let me face me, my ship the right Let me face me ship the right way. Gar. Avast, Joshua. Ye not be um, a pirate to reckon with. Wait, I can play a red card? No, it's fine. Red cards you could play whenever and any amount of. I'm going to play Tricky Typhoon. Tricky Typhoon. So swap locations with a player within three spaces. Ooh. Matt, me and you are switching. 
<laughs> okay. That's interesting. Uh, and then I'm playing Traitor. Um, Traitor. So on your turn, instead of rolling, take the flag from a player within two spaces of your ship. Then move one space. That's a good one, Josh. Yeah. And then I'm assuming you're moving one space closer to the Dread Sea? Yes, I am. And I'm okay. going to stop at the dock. I'm going to discard this card. and uh, Draw two. Draw two. That was a nice turn, Josh. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. You can't play anything else. Uh, so it's going to be my turn now. Unless Anne wanted to play something there. No. Okay. I rolled a one. That's really good. If I you go want to move forward... And then I go back. That's good. <laughs> you didn't want to go back? There you go, Anne. Can you do something? Because he's going to activate his player ability. Um, I'm going to activate... <laughs> I'm going to activate my player ability now, give Anne negative three and plus three to my next roll. Okay. Go ahead, Anne. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. You're getting plus three to your next roll? Yeah, yeah. you're getting negative So three unless you can roll a five, uh, no, a, a six plus, so a six, uh, and battle him, then he will get an additional three movement on his turn. Unless you got something that forces him to roll in your cards as well. So there's that. You're thinking a lot here. I feel like Josh just had a really nice move there. I I'm did. I'm a little upset about it, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, you pulled me away from the flag at the beginning. I, I had to get back at you. I know. I don't blame you. So I got two. So that's a negative one. You can't have negatives. So I don't move. Correct. Okay. Then I'm going to play. She's got something up her sleeve here, folks. What is it? Seaquake. The guards, the Seaquake. All other players move two spaces away from the Dread Sea. Ooh. One, two, three. And then I move one, two. I draw a card. Thank you, Anne. Okay. okay. Can we battle? I'm not saying we do. Can we? So he would have actually moved the other way off the, the kelp there. Because it goes back one direction, or back one the direction you came. That's me. No, that's the wrong character. Wrong character. So we don't. Hmm. Gar. Uh, so Harpoon Gun, on your turn, take the flag from a player within two spaces of your ship. Gar. Thanks. Appreciate it. Welcome home. Right, my turn? Uh, yeah, it's going to be Josh's turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to play Pesky Parrot. Pesky Parrot. Uh, pull the flag toward you two spaces. Remove it from a ship if it's one. <laughs> If it's in one. Oh, yep. so you, okay. So, so I just, I, I don't pull the ship with it. Just the, the flag. Just the flag. Remove it from the ship if it is one. There we go. Um, I'm going to play flank right now. So flank is going to move me one space. I gain a card. Hopefully it's something good. Nope, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's a seven. It's a seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You go back one. Okay, on my turn. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. Sure, why not? So it's the end of your turn, Josh. Yes. I'm playing. It's you or me. And I'm playing this on you. On your turn, instead of rolling, choose another player and roll a die. It's less than two, they move three spaces and you move two. If it's three plus, then I move five spaces and you move two. Okay. So I'm giving you movement. So I want you to stop the dread pirate Josh. <laughs> that's six. Six. So I move five spaces and you move two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and you move one, two. Uh that is instead of rolling on my turn. So unfortunately that's gonna end my turn. So I need, I need you to pull a rabbit out of your hat here, Anne. You just moved five spaces? I sure did. Now you could hope for a card that helps you out there. I'm going to activate my so you're power. Move the same number. Oh, that's not instead of your turn. You just right. move five yeah. spaces. Right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
card. Then I get a card. And then you can roll if you want to move. I mean, I'm assuming you want to. And uh, hopefully you got something that's going to help you out there. I don't know, though. Fingers are crossed. I mean, she will get the battle, maybe, because... Okay. Unless you play something. I'm going to play... You didn't see it coming. You didn't see it coming. So on your turn, roll a die. If it's even, move your ship three spaces. Odd, move your ship two spaces. Move another ship two spaces. This does not count as your turn roll. So what wait, why there's that? no point in doing this. Because if you land on the same space as them and then you attack, it counts as your roll All right, action. fine. Yeah. All right, fine. So I'll keep it. So I'm just moving. You're moving too. Okay. So you're, you're battling. I'm battling. Wait! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the principle of it. That's a three. That's two. Okay. So, and you're going to steal the flag. Then you are going to... Go ahead and roll to escape. Oh my god. Big bucks, no whammies. Roll one. I'll cut you if it's a... <laughs> 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 so you're going to go here. Backwards. No, I'm not. There. No, I'm not. So I'm going backwards. here. Oh, you're going to do that? Yeah, okay. I'm not staying on the same That's spot as his. Is it my turn? I uh, cannot believe... Why are you so excited? He's going to... He's going to... I. Why did you say a one? From the depths. From the depths. <laughs> <laughs> you got to put it over the island. <laughs> no, it doesn't reach. <laughs> so from the depths, on your turn, take the flag from a player within one space of you or move two spaces. You can move, you're going to move two oh, spaces, all right? Take your flag. <laughs> oh, no. A oh. He goes, eh? <laughs> and then he goes, eh. That was good. It's good. So uh, it's my turn now. Those sharks are brutal. Yeah, they yeah. are. I'm okay with that, though, for right now. So I go one, two, three, four. I get a card. Um, hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to attack Josh. Six! So I'm going to take the flag, but before I move, I'm going to play slow down. So this is the player closest to the Dread Sea moves four spaces away from it. Uh, if there's a tie on that, I choose. Right, Tucker? Correct. So I'm going to move Josh four spaces backwards. And give Joshua a card. That's okay. That's fine. So now uh, I'm going to... I'm going to play... Of course. Arg! Did you have to do it like that? Uh, so choose a player, subtract three from their next roll. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome, Matt. Roll to four. So that's a one. I'm going to go there. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back. I told no, if you get past the dreaded sharks. It's Sharknado, man. You don't even know. Uh, I, is there a mod in chat, please? Yeah, if, if mod in chat, I'm can not in front please of handle that. Uh, and it is now your turn. Um. Why you just. You, you don't have much of a choice here, buddy. IJS. <sighs> Roll to one. That's, that's just enough. It's time to battle. Hopefully I got my bad roll out of the way. You're going to get a one. Oh, no. That's a six. That's, a six. That's a four. Why and did you say it like that? And steals the flag. Mouse takes to try to the escape. cheese. Now do I get to... I don't know if I want to use that. Do it. Because it doesn't count as your getaway roll either. FYI. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. So you didn't see me coming. Um, I'm also going to play Mini Magnet. Okay, so mini magnet. So this is going to get resolved first. So pull a ship towards you one space. It's going to go that way. So now you didn't see me coming, so go ahead and roll. It's even, so move your ship three spaces. Pass Sharknado! And then you get to roll again for your getaway roll. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's five. <laughs> so, Anne, congratulations, you've reached the drill. Shh, stage. not yet. You're going to go down the Two. waterfall instead? <laughs> yes. I did it! Wait, can you move the camera so that you can see where my pirate ship went <laughs> off with the flag? And could you just zoom in on my pirate ship? This is good. A little blurry, but... Right? There, there, we, there go. we go. There I just want to point go. out that this is my ship. It's right the here. Great Purple Sea. Also, I'm a very <laughs> humble winner. I see that. <laughs> I see that. Uh, so, Josh, how are we on time? Um, I, we have time for another game. Okay. 
So, uh, Tucker, if you are okay with sticking around with us, uh, we have time for another game here on our end. If not, we can conduct the interview with you now. Oh, I'm happy to stick around. It's fun watching. I really enjoy uh, seeing Anne completely annihilate you guys right there. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Those dreaded sharks. Those sharks are rough, man. Uh, do we want to change our captains at all? No. I maybe? Do want, I, let, let's play as the three captains that weren't okay. used. Okay, all right. Just to show off the, the abilities here. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna randomly select them. So, Josh, this is you. And this is you. That's me. That actually uh, looks like you, Anne. I'm playing Duck. So let, let, let's show it off before you take okay. it. So Josh is going to play as Captain Tuck. So once per game, roll two dice instead of one. Uh, Anne is playing as Captain Shan. Is it Shan, Shan. or Shane? Shan. Shan. Uh, so once per game, double your next roll. You know, double one is two. Uh, and then right we've back. got Captain Unknown. So once per game, choose a player. Their next dice roll is automatically a one. Oh, why do you, you just like <laughs> the salty cards come to you? I, I get the jerk cards. That's fine. Okay, so again, we have to do a roll off now to see who goes first. Okay. So, well, two, two dice for the roll off. An 11 is much better than the three I rolled last time. <laughs> sure is. You might go first. Captain Tuck does look familiar. I just can't put my finger on it. <laughs> nine. So that was a nine. It's so a ordinarily, a nine would be pretty good. Yeah. But not today, Anne. Who? What, what do we say to the god of captains? <laughs> Here you go, Josh. Go ahead and roll those two dice, please. Any day now. Take your time. Josh rolled a seven. So seven, nine, eleven. Uh, I think I go first. Sure. And you will be going second. And little well, old Josh will be going third. I want to. I want to back up just a second here. Mm -hmm. um, we got to talk a little bit about the first three captains that came out, right? How they came from the different games. Tucker, do you want to tell us a little bit about the next three set of captains that we were able to bring out? Yeah, absolutely. So there's actually the three you're using now. Uh, Captain Tuck was. It was obviously designed after yours truly. Uh, <laughs> Captain Shan is the other designer, so you'll see the game is designed by myself and Shannon, and uh, the likeness is supposed to be pretty close to us, so if you ever get to play with us at a convention, you're, you're happy to compare the two. We'll sit there and hold them up. Um, and then Captain Unknown, there's actually going to be three captains that are currently not yet named, so the, well, that one there, and there's two others. The other two you don't have in your version, uh, but those are all three ones where we haven't decided if we're going to make them Kickstarter tiers where people can back them and get their name as a captain yet, but we're leaning towards that. Uh, we're also considering doing some kind of like a raffle giveaway with something where people can have a cool chance to win it. That'd be very That'd cool. Be very cool. Very the contest where everyone enters the name and it becomes Bodie McBoface. <laughs> that was one of the reasons we're kind of leaning towards a possibly because something the internet. other than that. I have, one, Happy I have one quick question about the art. Um, what is the N on your hat and the S on Shan's hat for? So the S is actually for her. That was hers. It's her handwriting on that one. Uh, it's, okay. a, it's kind of a symbol or family kind of crest. Uh, and then the N on mine is from University of Nevada. Oh, that's cool. And we can tell you're authentic because you say Nevada, not Nevada. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm going first. Let's yeah. see what I roll here. It's going to be you two. So Snake I guys. guess my ability can only be used after the flag's been captured. Not necessarily. <laughs> you could use it during a card on, before, but yeah. I rolled a 10. Uh, Snake Eyes. So no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take the long way, and I'm going to draw a card. Okay, so go ahead. It is your turn, Anne. Captain Anne. Queen Anne's Revenge. Yeah. Seven. That is a seven. Okay. Um. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anne's going for the fast and furious route. Let's see about Josh. Too fast. That's a five. Josh, which way are you going with five? Too furious. I'm assuming down the waterfall, because otherwise you land on the sharks. The water what? Waterfall. Um, I'm landing on the sharks, because screw those sharks. I'm just going to run over <laughs> them on my boat over and over again. You know that there's no propeller on that, right? I didn't. There's a I rudder. Still run over <laughs> them. <laughs> the rudder. Yeah, <laughs> you slap it with the rudder back and forth. <laughs> All right, so back to my turn. I'm gonna roll, and I rolled a six. So I'm gonna go here. Now, if I stop there, I resume my movement afterwards. 
Nope, it ends your turn. Or it ends your movement. Two, three, four. I'm going to go, okay, so I'm just going to keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. So then I draw another card, and it's going to pass to you, Anne. Okay. Okay. So Ooh, what did you roll? Snickers! Okay, so you're going to move two whole spaces I'm down I'm going to move here. backwards. Interesting. That's actually a good idea. You get yourself another card. Josh passes to you. You rolled a nine. Which way are you going, Josh? I'm jumping down that waterfall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Which way? Down the waterfall? No, I'm going to go around. Six, seven, eight, nine. So you're getting two cards out of that, by the way. Okay. Roll a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, might as well. I'm getting just enough to go past these cards. Uh, the, the draw Thanks. points. Hmm. Oh, were you done with your turn? I, I was. Okay. So you're fine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. And I'll get two cards. Joshua, back to you. Ooh, that's Eleven. an 11. Okay. Uh, you are green, right? Like He's counting. I'm going down. The waterfall? Or yeah, this way? I'm going down the waterfall. Thought so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you're going to draw two more cards. How many cards do you have over there, champ? I got four. Okay. I don't trust you, but okay. So He's now moved off screen. <laughs> oh, he sure has. We're moving too fast. I rolled a five. So one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do that. So one, two, three, four, five. Draw a card. And Anne, it is your turn. I am going to... Rolled an 11. Oof. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Jealous, Hanging out with Joshy. I am. Uh, but I already have four cards. Wait. Okay. Um, so I would only... Get one more. Get one more. Uh, Unless you wanted to play one right then. Ooh, that's a that's point right there. Well... Nah, you didn't want to do that. <laughs> can I... Can I... Retroactively play a card? I'm guessing the answer is no. Um... No, I'm okay with that. Josh rolled a ten. ten. So one, two, three, four. Draw a card. I get it. You get the flag. And do I get to move the rest of my movement? Yep, so anytime you pick up the flag in open water or the, hit the end of a board, you get to turn around and keep your movement going. Alright, so that's four. I got six more. Six. I'm going to get one more card. Oof. Um, I don't like that. Yeah, let me see how that's I'm twice finding. he was first to the flag. No. Oh, that's right. You were first to the flag <laughs> first time. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play flank. What's that? Besides a nice take, type of stake. Uh, so move one space. Uh, move okay. Move this way and then go over an extra space. Okay. I get another card and then. Interesting. Very very interesting. Whatever shall you do, Josh? I'm gonna play. You didn't see me coming. So you didn't see me coming. Uh, so on your turn, roll a die. So that is a two. That's even. Move your ship three spaces. So I'm going to move myself three spaces. Down more. One, two, three. And that'll move you one more. Yep. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. I can dig it. So it is now my turn. Uh, Matt, it's your turn? Sure is. Uh, I'm going to throw this cult net on you. So choose a player, subtract two from their next roll. I, I can live with that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and roll. 
rolled a two. <laughs> so I am now going to play quick fingers. So I am going to, after any roll, flip a die to the opposite side. So that becomes a five. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to battle Mr. Josh. All right. I need good battle music. Dun, dun. Uh, Ice Chamber, the Kickstarter is April 17th. So next Tuesday, right? Uh, yep. Uh, is that Tuesday or Wednesday? Next week. Next week. I rolled a three. Yeah. I rolled a four. I win. Tuesday. You do win. I win. You, you do win. Huh. Okay. Are you done? Okay. Yeah, it's the end of my turn. So go ahead, Anne. Um, I am going to play What are you playing? I'm going to play medium magnet on Josh. That's asking what the price point is, Tucker. It's going to be 29 with free shipping for US backers and it'll be 39 for international. Then I'm going to play Uneven Exchange. How many cards do you have? Four. How many cards do you have? Three. I'm going to play Uneven Exchange on... Do you really want to give Josh more cards? Mm, only one. Just saying. On Matt. Okay. So I'm going to draw three, choose one to keep, and then give you two. Two, three. Okay. And to ask if it's for sale on the East Coast, it is on Kickstarter next week. So back it there. Hmm. Be cool. Are you doing international shipping for the Kickstarter? Yeah, so it'll it'll be uh, international is going to be about ten bucks more, just about anywhere in the world. A uh, few locations will end up being a little more. What's my hand limit? Five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you still haven't rolled yet. Correct. Okay. Just making sure. Terrible noise. Sorry about that. It's rolled a two. Dang it. One, One two. two. All right. All right. Josh rolled a five. So. He's going backwards. No. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Josh, draw a card. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I am going to. Do something. What will the Kickstarter be available on? Is there a link? Um, Matt, if you do a sponsor, there is a link to uh, the website, but it's not up yet. If you're following us on like Twitter and stuff, we'll post it on our Twitter account when it's live. So the live. Kickstarter is going up live on the 17th? Yes. Uh, do you have a time for that yet, Tucker? Yeah, it'll be going live, so uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so it is now my turn. Is anyone playing anything? Nope. Okay. Roll a three. One, two, three. So I draw a card, and it's time to battle. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to put a knot in your ropes. So what does this do? Choose one player, subtract one from their roll. I'm going to play Giant Mirror. Uh, choose a new target for that card that was just played. So Josh is going to target you instead. I should want another card. That's a cool card. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play helping hand. So, helping hand, choose two players. Both get plus two on their next roll. Uh, me. And Matt. What Matt to get the flag? <laughs> I think so. I got it from him last time. If he wins this fight, he's gonna move forward more. Yeah, like, that's I'm fine. The sharks are right here. Okay. <laughs> Like, I'm okay with this. I rolled a three. Josh rolled a two. I didn't need your helping hand, but I appreciate your helping hand. It was duly noted, Anne. So I get that. Now you get to escape. Now I get to escape. Okay. So I rolled a three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to play uh, this way, that way. So you and another player both roll. So Anne, we're going to roll. Okay. So this is your plus two to your roll here. Oh, this is good. All right. 
Oh. So that I, no, you still won. You still won. Oh, that's right. Plus two to your roll. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus two to your roll. So you yeah. are going to move three spaces. I move one space. And I move one space, so I get a card. Okay. Um, yeah, that works. My turn? Or Anne's turn? Yep, that is Anne's turn uh, now. I can play Mini Magnet on Anne's turn. So a Mini Magnet. So pull a ship towards you one space. Uh, I'm pulling the sh your ship towards me. No, no, no. I'm pulling that ship towards me. <laughs> so I'm I giving him another, another card? I get another card. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so I am now going to play... Isn't it my turn? It, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to play Do What I Tell You. Uh, so, Anne, uh, we're both going to move two spaces in the direction that we choose. Okay? Oh, okay. One, two. Plus one. So I need another card there, Josh. Thank you, buddy. Okay. So it's your turn, Anne. Okay, one, two, three, four, five... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Huge Magnet. Okay, so that is pull a ship towards you three spaces. Come on back, Matt. <laughs> I need another card. <laughs> um, you know what? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am going... Matt, what? you have a red card you're playing? Or? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna play Thick Fog. Ignore the effect of the card that was just played. No, I'm not moving backward. Sorry. Yeah. If I didn't have a full hand of cards, I would've. Gladly. Chad's asking if two ships are on opposite sides of the waterfall and the lower ship plays the mini magnet card, can it be pulled down the higher ship down the waterfall? Dr. Nope, on those ones it does say it has to be true board spaces. Okay. Okay. Cool. Wait. I, I said cool. <laughs> uh, shiver me timbers. If another player is on the same space as you, move two spaces. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay. I can dig it. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Okay. Josh, it is your turn. Pesky Parrot. Pesky Parrot. Pull the flag towards you two spaces. But it's just the flag. Mm -hmm. Didn't we have this conversation? Yeah. So, so yeah. it doesn't do anything. The flag goes in open water two spaces. I back. lose the flag. <gasps> Matt loses the flag. I can, just fly, <laughs> I can go over and pick it up as I run over it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use this turn. I'm not going to do that. Stupid parrot. <laughs> so you rolled a one. <laughs> Did you want me to move your ship? I'm going to move one, and then... It sucks to be you. I'm going to discard a card and draw two new cards. Okay. All right. And it's my turn now. Yep. Question for you, Tucker. If I want to, do I not have to pick up the flag? You don't have to. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and roll. Roll to three. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And draw a card. Okay. Then I'm going to play uh, Wind in the Sails. So if you don't have the flag, move three spaces towards the Dread Sea. So I'm going to go there. Does it stop me when I pick up the flag, or do I keep going? Nope. When you're picking up the flag in open water, you get to just slow down, but you pick up and keep moving. So I draw another card. That goes away. Then I'm going to uh, gonna play the Lost Treasure Chest. So this is draw three cards, choose one to keep, put the rest on the bottom of the deck. So one, two, three. I think it's the whole freaking deck of cards. Uh, mm -hmm. I sure do. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to do that. Do I, wait, do I want to do that? That's the question. I don't know what you want to do. Yeah, I'm going to take that card. So these go on the bottom of the deck. So, and turn passes to you. Okay. Have fun. Thanks. Anytime. Um. Whatever shall One, you do. One, two, three... Hopefully something not, not that useful. I don't want to do that. Okay. So you're rolling. I'm rolling. You rolled a one. Big bucks. No whammies. In fact, it was the opposite. It was big whammies, no okay, bucks. Okay, at the end of Anne's turn. Yes. I'm, 
Oh, okay. Play Wind Gust. So Wind Gust is the player holding the flag drops it, move the flag three spaces away from the Dread Sea. You are a jerk. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Stop taking my flag. Um. So, Anne, are you doing anything else? I'm going to play It's a Gamble. It's a Gamble. Uh, so on your turn, roll a die. If it's even... You're going to move four spaces towards the flag. Odd, move one space away from the flag. Okay. That's two. It's even. You're going to move one sp uh, four spaces towards the flag. I'm assuming you're stopping on the flag? Yeah. Okay. Does she still have to keep moving, or can she just stop there? In, so in that case, she would move towards it and then stop. Okay. 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 And Josh, it's your turn. Whatever shall you do? He's rolling. Roll to three. So are you going here or yep. you stop? Okay, so you're going to battle. All right, and you're ready to battle? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. All the four against your one. So Josh steals the flag. I am now captain. To, I am captain now. I am captain now. It's two. Two. So you, uh, you're going to go one, two. I get a card? He gets a card. Um, I'm going to play this. I'm going to play Yoink. Matt? What's Yoink? You get I to get take a random cards. card from your hand. Interesting. That's, that's interesting. Um, okay. Whatever. I yeah, you don't know what I have <laughs> I anyways. I have no idea Just what you have. Just take it slow so I see what you, have, see what you get. Just, can I, I want you to take it slow and then you just <laughs> ripped it out of my hand. What does it matter? A Band-Aid. It hurts less. Okay. So that is the end of your turn. It's now my turn. Yep. Um, hmm. 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 I am going to. Sure, why not? I'm going to play Trader. So on your turn, instead of rolling, take a flag from a player within two spaces of your ship and then move one space. Move one space. That's that's the end of my turn. Short and sweet. Okay. I'm gonna roll. So you rolled a three. One, two, three. I'm gonna pull a card. Hopefully it's something terrible. Um. I hope that it's something terrible. Just letting you know that. I think that that's it. Okay. So Josh, it is now your turn. Whatever shall you do? Five. Okay. We're going to battle. We're battling. That's my right. ship. That's, that's your yeah, ship. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I still win. Uh, I I'm going to do a do-over. So I get to reroll my die. Still a one. Still a one. <laughs> Great do-over. <laughs> well, what did you expect, Matt? You know, I don't know. <laughs> And I get to escape. Okay. Three spaces. So one, two, three. Um, I'm going to play Climb the Ropes. Let's Climb the Ropes. So on your turn, if you have the flag, move one space. If you don't, move two spaces. I have the flag, so I'm just going to move one space and uh, get on the card. Okay. And it is now my turn. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Um, I'm going to play this. He What's scallywags. Wish to add. So you may give a card to another player if you do draw two cards. So who are you giving a card to? And I'm being nice and giving you a card. Okay. Don't trust him. Uh, so now I'm going to play full speed ahead. So on your turn, instead of rolling, move four spaces. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to draw a card, and Josh, we're going to battle. Okay. That's a one. I rolled a five. So I take the flag. My flag. Mine. And now I'm going to roll. 
rolled a two. It's one, two, and then I go backwards one. My favorite one. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play There She Blows. There She Blows. Move two spaces towards the flag. Oh, that was kind of dumb. Yard. Give wise. me back. I'm rolling first. <laughs> you should first. roll first <laughs> and <laughs> then. I'm rolling first. You rolled a two. It's the same result there, you <laughs> scallywag. <laughs> there She Blows again. But for real this time. You get move one more space. Oh, no, it's two spaces. Yeah. Sorry. That'd be the end of your turn there. Yeah, it's the end of my turn. Man. Gear. Okay. Four. Josh rolled a four. Where are you going, Josh? I'm attacking you. Okay. Hmm. Playing a card? Are you playing a card? Mm, nah. Okay. Playing a card? Um, hold on. I'm thinking about this, actually. Poor Matt is having horrible luck with the dice. Yes, I'm going to activate my ability. What is it? My ability is choose a player. Their next dice roll is automatically a one. All right. I'm going to play Do You Feel Lucky? On your next roll, add plus four if your roll is a one through three. I thought you would play that. Okay. <laughs> I threw the card from your hand, Matt. Yep. I, for some reason, I thought it only applied to movement. That's why I played nope. that there. Why are you rolling? I don't know. Because I want to roll. Because <laughs> <laughs> I still beat you. No. Yeah. I had four. That's five to a five. Oh, okay. It's a tie. So it's a tie. So we reroll. So does this still Wait, count? Wait, what? He made, your card a, he made your roll a one. And that add card four says to roll. add four to your roll if you roll a one through three. Oh, it's a five. Yeah. So it's a, a tie. So we roll off, but now it's just a pure roll off, right? Correct, yep. Okay, so, so my ability does not come into play anymore. Hmm. Six. I rolled a yeah. two. Mine. Jerky McJerk face. Okay. One, two, three. Um, and that's the end of your turn, unless you're deciding to swap out some cards. No, I'm not going to swap my cards. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to roll. Six. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to attack. Come on, John. And you can uh, choose play. to use the trading post for battle if you want to. Oh. It's either or, not both? No, you can do both. So the way I picture it is when you stop at the trading post, if the battle takes place on land, you guys just got off and you're battling in the market somewhere. I like it. So I'm going to do the trading post first then. Okay. So I'm going to discard this card and I'm going to draw two. Hopefully I get something useful. Anything good? Maybe. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play smooth sailing. So what's that? Uh, add three to my next roll. Ooh, that's mean. Hope that is mean. I hope you roll a one. I rolled a two, so it's a five. I rolled a two. That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> so I keep my flag. Indeed. Okay. So okay. it's not my turn yet, but at the start of my turn, since I'm at the trading post, can I do the trade then? You can. I can. Yep, you can just only use it once each time you visit it. Okay. But then you can't move, right? No, I can still move. Because you're already there? I'm already there, right? Or mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, I'm going to play It's You or Me. It's You or Me. With so Matt. On your turn, instead of rolling, choose another player and roll a die. Uh, less than two spaces. They move two spaces. You move two spaces. Or they move three. You move two. I rolled a three. Choose another player. Oh, it's you yeah. rolled a die. Yeah. Sorry. So, so you, you rolled five, and Matt's going to move two spaces. Correct. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I get another card. Okay, so I'm going to move two. Three, so I'm going to go this four. way, and I'm going to draw a card as well. Okay. Anything else, Sam? Uh, and then I'm going to roll. No, I thought that was instead of your turn. Was it instead of a roll? I don't yeah, think instead so. Instead of rolling. Oh. Choose another player and do that. Gyar. Gyar. Um, so my turn. You can only play a right card if you have it. Can you chill your grill? <laughs> Could. Yes, it's your turn. You're so excited. I'm going to discard my one card. Draw two new ones. Hmm. I'm curious. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> Whatever shall Josh do? 
I'm gonna play. S Gyar. I'm gonna play slow down on map. So slow down, and that is the player closest to the Dread Sea moves four spaces from it. He's gonna get another card. So I know one, that. two, three, four. Then I go there. No, no it's the direction that oh, you came from. Back that way. Yeah. Okay, so I draw another card. I'm now going to activate Captain Tuck's ability. Which is? Well, two dice instead of one. Just going to have the other die. Interesting. There you go. Six. No, really? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> sharks. <Those> damn sharks! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to play Seaquake. So all other players move two spaces away from the Dread Sea. So that's one, two. And then I'm also going to play Hoist the Anchor. So I'm going to move one space closer to the flag. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. OK. Whoops, can you put that on the pile there? And now it's my turn. I'm going to use this opportunity to do the trading post. So I'm going to discard this card. I'm going to draw myself two cards. Yeah, those sharks are t up to no good. Okay. Now, Matthew, recall what that last card is, because you should know it. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You need to try jumping the sharks? I'm trying, man. <laughs> it just... Hmm. Don't the know TV producers won't let me do it. Do that. I'm a man, little all the way back mildly there? worried right now. Stalking. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to... I shaver, I just used my ability to land on the sharks. Oh, damn, I rolled a one. Is there anything I can do here? You just slap the sharks with your riders again, Josh. <laughs> so, them twice I'm, I'm going to move one whole space. Okay. And uh, that's going to be the end of my turn. Right, and it's your turn. And go ahead. Big bucks, no whammies. You still have your ability. I know this. Oh, double your next roll. Okay. That could be good. Could be horrible. Could, could be horrible. Now, if you know that you uh, you need something with an even roll, that's a pretty good ability. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that's a good point. Yay, math! Yay, <laughs> math! Okay, I'm gonna do. Press your luck. Okay, so you're hoping for big bucks, not any whammy. So on your next turn, at the start of your turn, roll a die. That's less than three. Dang. Skip your turn. Okay. Wham, wham. Wham, wham. Hmm. All right, my turn? Hold on a second. Is that outside of here? I'm not sure. Uh, might be something, I think, on Tucker's side. So what are you doing there, Josh? Is it raining? Oh, no. Something? It might be again. We've had about 40 mile an hour winds all day. I can turn that down a little. <laughs> so, Josh, anything interesting you doing there? Yeah, I gotta play. Uh, yo ho ho. It's yo ho ho. So, yo ho ho is you feel motivated, add one to your next roll. If you roll a one, re roll, the first roll doesn't count. <laughs> okay. I'm now. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Go ahead. Josh rolled a one, so, so re-roll, re it doesn't count. That's a two. So you rolled a three. Fucking shark. <laughs> <laughs> two, three. That's <laughs> PG-13. I didn't. I, I said, fudge you sarks. That sarks. Because sharks. sharks is a naughty word, apparently. <laughs> okay. Hey, Tucker's back. Sorry. Tucker, I hit the sharks again. <laughs> I think you just like them at this point. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and roll. Really? I rolled a one. You get to draw the last card. Um, sure, why not? So if the player holding the flag is closer to the Dread Sea than you, move three spaces. One, two, three. Time to battle, Josh. Okay, cool. Sure. It's time to duel. I rolled a four. Oh yeah, give me that flag. I roll a one. I don't want to roll a one. Roll okay. a one. Wait. Yes. 
Sorry. Sun in my eyes. Subtract two from the dice of a player who just rolled. Sorry, Matt. What did you do? Are you leaving me? I, I keep the flag? Yeah. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> but if you take the flag from him, then you get a getaway roll, and then you could win. But if he keeps the flag, then there are, is no getaway roll, and you two can stay right there. Yep. That's that, is, that is true. Thank you, man. It wasn't for why, you. Why would you do that? It wasn't for yeah. you! Okay. <laughs> um, so Josh keeps the flag. Yep. You do realize what you just did there. I have a uh, Taking the one away from you. That's fine. Whatever. Just saying. You want to let Josh do it twice now? All right, and your turn. <sighs> That's for later. Okay. Um, you want to activate your ability, or are you going <sighs> to stay in the back? This is your big uh, Chad says pro strats, smart strategy. All right. I with you again. I'm going to... want to be a jerk. I'm going to activate my ability and double my next roll. Please be good. Now wait, which direction are you going? You have to say which direction you're going first, right, Tucker? Why? I'm, I'm just no, curious. she can she can choose to, to roll and then see what she rolls to choose which direction she wants okay. to go. Gotcha. Just want to see. You never just want to I'm see. Just, I just want to see. It's fine. It'll be fine. Ooh, ten. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna get a card. Then I'm going to get a card. Then I'm gonna play harpoon gun. So harpoon gun is on your turn. Take the flag from a player within two spaces of your ship. So then I'm gonna take the flag. All right, anything else? No, that's it. All right, I'm going to go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> so on your turn, roll a die. You get a four plus. That's not <gasps> a four plus. That's a two, Josh. Try. That was, that was a nice try, though. I, I appreciate that. I'm that's gonna a go four. Attack Anne. ba doo ba -do. Okay, I'm going to... Um, Choose. Damn, Sam. Card in. <laughs> Come on, AP. Um, we're gonna battle, right? Yep, we're battling. Uh, Is this the first time Josh has made it past the sharks? Okay. Yeah, it's the, it's the first time I got past the sharks. <laughs> so you are doing ARG. Choose a player, subtract three from their next roll. That's I got one. one. That's a one. That's I didn't three. Need it. You don't even need it. I know, man. That's disappointing, isn't it? It is. Sure. Just is. watch Matt come steal it from you. Uh, shh. Uh, so, okay. It is now m my turn? Yep. Okay, cool. So I'm going to roll a one. Please roll a one. Five. <laughs> So I'm going to go over here, yeah. and I am now going to play... Sharks are the real pros here. <laughs> I'm going to play Heavy Breeze, so it's going to add two to my next roll. So give me the stuff, in. Four? A four. four. That's mine. Okay, so I'm going to take that. Now, in the meantime, I am also going to play Luck of the Sea. No, I you can't. Why not? The other card you played was not a oh, red card. Oh, you're right. It was not a red card. So stop trying to cheat, card. Matt. <laughs> okay, so I still get to do my getaway roll. It's a five. Look at that. So I'm going oh. somewhere to turn, 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 beyond the sea. That's the one I just got. Da, da, the dread <laughs> sea. Look at that. The purple ship be back in the purple sea. <gasps> Naibari, oh, look. Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even need it. Uh. All right, so I'm going to get this back to our pretty faces here. So that was our spotlight of the pirate's flag. Yep. It was a lot of fun. It was. Uh, and do you have any questions for Tucker while we still have him here? Um, yeah, so Tucker, I want to talk a little bit about 
Uh, we talked a little bit about the game, about how you've transitioned, well, how your line of games really are uh, reimaginations of some classic card games, and you really are focusing on games for your beginner kind of gateway games. And uh, I, I totally can see that here. You have to give me a second. I have to collect myself after all the salt from the ocean that's come. It's be, ocean or map? It's be the salt spray. Ta you were fighting against Captain Saul. I was. I was. Talk to me a little bit about the Kickstarter that's coming up on the 17th. What kinds of... We've talked a little bit interspersed here and there, uh, but what kind of tiers are you looking to have? What kind of rewards are you looking to have? Uh, will you be having any stretch goals coming out? So uh, one of the things we really focus on is quality of components. Um, I really... Don't know if you can see the quality of the artwork or the cards there, um, but Sam Turner did a fantastic job with the art. We really try to make them look good. I know some of the, the greens are kind of hard to see with the, the green screen and everything, but um, the box will be really thick, two millimeter. The board will be really thick, two millimeter. Uh, the dice are going to be kind of like what you guys are using, which are fairly nice numbered dice rather than the pips. Uh, the boats, there's six different boats with six different colors right out of the gate. Um, all different designs, so they're easy to see. Uh, the, <laughs> the the green one's kind of hard to see, I guess, for, for the green screen, yeah. Oh, the yellow uh, also is... Uh... The yellow stuff also. Yeah. Can you talk to me a little bit about the ships? We were talking earlier, and you notice, uh, if you could, Matt, if you could put those back, each one of your ships is uh, different. They're individual. Can you talk to me a little bit about your sculptor? Yeah, so Heriberto uh, is a fantastic sculptor, artist, 3D modeler. He actually does a lot of work for board games in general. Um, some of the more common ones he's done recently, he did work on uh, Grim Forest. I know a ton of people got to see that. Um, but he's done quite a few projects recently. And uh, with his modeling style, it's really cool to see six different ships. They're all unique. So people that do have trouble seeing the colors can still make out which ship is theirs. I didn't even think about that. That's really cool. <laughs> From a colorblind player myself, the colors are actually pretty good. That It didn't matter. But Yeah, I tried to make the colors vibrant enough to where the scales are just a little bit different, um, so you can see them, but even then, the designs are... It's fun to have them all be unique. Yeah. That's you think you touched on all the bases there? I think I did. Tucker, uh, is there anything else that you wanted to say about the Pirates flag before we say good evening to you? I, I, like she touched on, it's definitely a, a casual entry gamer game. But even for more experienced gamers, there's still strategy in the cards. And that's something we kind of strive for is making the games accessible. Um, the big goal with this one is to take that roll and move concept from something that's no thought required and making it a game where you can strategize and you really can plan and play. I definitely felt that when I was playing. I'm really excited to kind of give my first impressions here. Indeed. So let's jump into that. Tucker, thank you so much for joining us this evening and thank all of you for watching at home. This is going to be the end of our spotlight session here of the Pirate's Flag. Uh, stay tuned, though. We're going to be jumping into our first impression session where we talk about our favorite aspects of the game, any constructive criticisms we have, and then finally the most important question of the evening, would you play the game again? That's right. Uh, but for now, we're going to be saying a temporary goodbye to you all. This is Twist Gaming signing off. I'm Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. Thanks again, Tucker. Thank you for having me.